Lift our hands to him. Hallelujah. As we call him into our hearts. Hallelujah. As long as he is in our hearts, we can worship freely this morning. We can worship withholding nothing from him this morning. As long as he is in to our hearts. Hallelujah. As long as he is in to our hearts. As long as he is in, in to our hearts. Jesus, come in and stay and dwell forever, Lord Jesus. Not just, hallelujah, not just on a Sunday. Not just on a Wednesday. Not just on a Friday. Hallelujah, not just when service is keeping. But every day, everywhere, forever, staying there. Mighty God, dwell in there. Hallelujah. So that I can be able to do the things that you will have me to do. You see, when we love the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. When we love Jesus, hallelujah. Whatever he asks us to do, we will do it. When you love someone, you want to do everything you possibly can for them. Hallelujah. Even when it seems like you're you don't have the resources to do what you would want to do. You're trying to be creative just because you love the person. This is how we should treat God. Amen. I want to read the lesson this morning. The morning. Um, taken from Matthew chapter 21, from verse 12 to 22. Matthew chapter 21 from verse 12 to 22. Yes, the Lord. Thank you, can say amen. Uh, I want us to read together this morning. Oh dear. After the count of two, one, two. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. He, priests and scribes, saw the wonderful things that he did. And the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. They were sore displeased. Verse 16. And said unto him, Hearest thou what he say? And Jesus said unto them, Yea, have ye never read? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, though as perfect praise. And he left them and went out of the city into Bethsaida, and he lodged there. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only. And said unto it, Let no fruit go on thee henceforward forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. Verse 20. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, he shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if he shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. Verse 22 and last. And all things whatsoever he shall ask in prayer, 
believing ye shall receive. Praise the Lord. Praise the word of the Lord. Let's believe what the word of the Lord says. As we know, normally on the last Sunday we do mostly praying and really crying out to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, you know that we get ourselves ready to talk to the Lord today. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
doesn't matter what your neighbor think or they may not understand. Talk for yourself. Give your praise because you know what is going on inside of you. So don't let no one try to keep you quiet or they look at you in a funny way. You might want to drop your praise. Hallelujah. They don't understand, but you understand. Amen. And it's bubbling. And when something is bubbling, <laughs> you can't keep quiet. No matter how they say, keep quiet. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I hope that it's bubbling within each and every one of us today. Amen. So we will never keep quiet within this place because we come to lift up our voices to the mighty God. Hallelujah. Who is ready to be praised. This time we want to pray. Our first prayer this morning. Just want us to put ourselves before the Lord. Our is important. And to cry out to him. For him to have mercy upon us. Amen. Amen. I want to ask Brother Sharon commander to lead us in this prayer this morning. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord of Lords. Praise the Lord of Lords. Let's all stand. Let's sit your hands and worship the Lord.
Somebody sing, draw me nearer.
the secret coil of our hearts. Lord, I pray against the spirit of hypocrisy this morning. I pray against the spirit of deception. I bind the spirit of divination. I bind the spirit of lukewarmness. I can't say assignment this morning in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of laziness. Hallelujah. I bind the spirit of sexual immorality. I bind the spirit, oh God Almighty, of deception this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, come and dwell. Come and do what nobody else can do in the name of Jesus. Let there be a free flow of your spirit. Let there be a free flow of your anointing. For it is the anointing that makes the difference. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. We bind the spirit of the lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life. We bind the spirit of adultery. We bind the spirit of fornication. We bind the spirit of disobedience. Let your presence rule in this atmosphere. We need a word from you today. Lord, I need a word from you. We want to feel your Shekinah glory. Lord, hallelujah. 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 Walk through this place today. Saturate us. We need an outpouring of your anointing. We need an outpouring of your Holy Ghost. Fill me with your spirit again. Let self be slain. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every demonic forces. That come against the people of God this morning. We cramp and we paralyze every plan of the enemy. We bind that wicked dragon that try to hold us captive. Lord, of which belongs to you this morning. We humble ourselves before you. Lord God Almighty, come and do what no man can do. We thank you for last week's Sunday. Your presence was here. And I pray, Lord God, that today we have a wonderful day. Somebody that needs to be filled with your spirit. I pray for somebody that is time for the Holy Ghost. Oh God Almighty. It has been too long, Lord. We pray for an outpouring of your spirit. Hallelujah. Oh God, we need another touch from you. We need another touch from you one more time. Lord, consecrate us now to your service. And most of all, let your kingdom come. And let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. And your will be done. Let your kingdom come. And your will be done. Let your kingdom come. And your will be done. In the service. Let your kingdom come. And your will be done. Saturate us with your anointing. Saturate us with your presence. Saturate us with your Shekinah glory. Saturate us one more time. Fill us with your spirit. One more time. Anoint us afresh. And have your way. As we tell our thanks. Can we say in Jesus name. Can we say in Jesus name. The Lord bless you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Him to sing that song that the musician is playing at this time. My story is with him. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh,
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
You don't have to look inside again because you know it is faith. And it's the sound that comes from us tells whether we are filled or we are empty. We can fool each other and we can trick each other. But don't, Lord of Jesus, think that we can trick the mighty God that we are serving or some of us will claim that we are serving. We cannot fool him. Hallelujah. Can we say the story simply one more time? And we need it to be filled. Some of us still are coming. You know, it's probably the early start, kind of, you know. <laughs> but we are worshiping God still. Praise God. Um, we're gonna take a few testimonies at this time. At this time, um, whosoever you may have a very burning, as they say, testimony that you would like to share. I'm taking about three this morning. Even if it's not burning to you, but you want to share your testimony. Anyway. Just a touch of the hands, precious Jesus. Dipped into the aisle of the Holy Ghost. It will soon hold my fears. Wipe away all my tears. It's the anointing. That I need the most sweet, sweet and anointed. We're in that.
up your mind now that you want to share a testimony this morning. Hallelujah. Bless Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Lord, bless Jesus. Can we all as lift our hands? Can we all stand as long as we can this morning? Uh, the Lord deserves more. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can we just say something nice to Him right now? Something nice. Hallelujah. He wants to hear. He wants to hear something nice from us this morning. Jesus, you are all powerful. You are mighty God. You are great, Jesus. And there is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's reach out to him. Hallelujah. Let's reach out to him with our hearts. With our mouth and our whole body, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Let's just talk to him, mighty God, oh Jesus, we honor you this morning. You are awesome God, you are great, Jesus, if we could just really serve you God, the way Oh, you are looking for us to serve you, withholding nothing from you, God. Oh, powerful we will be, mighty God. Oh, Jesus, we won't have to worry about anything. Jesus, you will fix everything for us. Help us, Lord, increase our faith within you this morning. Our faith in you, God. Increase! Mighty God, this morning, as we read in your word that God is with us a faith as a mustard seed, God. We will talk to the mountain and the mountain will obey us. What a faith, mighty God, help us increase our faith in you and our belief in you this morning, Jesus. Oh God, we give you thanks, we give you thanks. Oh Jesus, hallelujah, worship the Lord, worship the Lord. It's the one day that we come together. Let's, let's just lift him up somewhere. Jesus, Jesus, do you want to call out his name? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, mighty God, we call on you this morning. We have no other God to turn to Jesus. Jesus, we look to you this morning. We look to you. I need 
calling you to our rescue this morning God come and rescue us Jesus hallelujah come and rescue us we need you we need you Jesus hallelujah bless the Lord Jesus just gotta ask our deacons to, to give their testimony this morning our greet, greetings our vote starting the deacon Desmond Smelly 
Praise Jesus. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, Deacon Danvers, share a bit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord, and I just want to greet everyone and welcome you as we are coming in, and just to encourage everyone to always need more of the Lord. Never get satisfied with where you are with Him or how much you have Him. There's always a space for more of Jesus. Amen. So I just want to encourage us in that way this morning. Encourage us to stay with him as well. Stay with the Lord Jesus Christ. Stay with freedom. Once you leave, you're going back to bandage. That's why, that's why uh, Paul told the Galatians not to go back to the old beggarly elements that once had you captive. Amen. I just want to encourage us to stay with the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. I've got confidence. God is going to see me through. No matter what the case may be. I know he's going to fix it for me. I've got confidence. Doesn't matter. No matter what the case may be, our Lord is gonna fix it for me. for hands to him in confidence as we ask the ushers to come at this time we want to lift our hands to him are you weak confident enough this morning hallelujah that God will see us through and he will fix whatever we are going through 
doesn't matter what case it may be. Jesus. Increase our faith, Lord Jesus. Can we all go away at this time? Lord, we give you thanks one more time. We honor you. We bless you. You are great. And we are giving you thanks right now, even with our offering and tithe. Lord Jesus, pray that you will bless abundantly as we bless you, God. Take full control right now of our hearts that we continue to give and give willingly, knowing that it's a part of our worship. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And as we praise you, Nephi. If it had not, not been for the Lord on my
and stand to your feet, everybody. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? Just give the Lord a round of applause. Put your hands together for the Lord, somebody. We want to thank Brother Smelly who take us this far. Thanks to Deacon Smelly who have been taking us this far. We want to put our hands together for the Lord, somebody. Just put your hands together for the Lord. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout with the voice of triumph. I didn't tell you to stop. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? No, man, just keep on clapping your hands. God bless us through Monday. testify it's just some testify but i want us to i want us all to testify today you agree with me praise the lord somebody i want us to give the lord a big testimony we're gonna thank him from monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday Reggie, the lord has been keeping us through the week isn't that right so so if we're gonna testify we can't just give him a little thank you thank you clap man you have to give a Monday clap, a Tuesday clap, a Wednesday clap, and a Thursday clap, and a Friday clap, and a Saturday clap. So can you put your hands to the Lord from Monday? <laughs> clap your hands, man. Are you grateful that God keep it through Monday of last week? Can you put your hands together for God on Tuesday? Tuesday. Lord, thank you for Tuesday. That's your testimony. That is our testimony. Put your hands together for Wednesday. Lord, I thank you for last week, Wednesday. Put your hands together for Thursday. Lord, I thank you for Thursday. I could have died Thursday night. Praise the Lord, somebody. We are giving the Lord our testimony. In Praise the Lord, somebody. Can we put our hands together for Friday? Lord, you keep me through Friday morning, Friday night. Can you put your hands together for Saturday? Praise the Lord, somebody. Can we testify for Saturday night, man? Put your hands together for the Lord, somebody. Clap your hands, all you people. Can we praise the Lord? Thank you. Thank you. We all testify. Bridget, we need to change our way of worship, you know. You can testify in many ways, you know. Yes. <laughs> I'm coming to Sunday. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. Virgin, we can testify in so many ways. Now, I'm going to ask the musician to cease for a while. We have a final testimony for Saturday night through Sunday morning. Mighty God of Daniel. I didn't know I would live to see this morning. Oh, many persons died through Saturday night until this morning. Even right now, somebody is gapping for life. Is that right, right? They are trying to say, Lord, Virgin, don't take it for granted. So we want to give our testimony for Saturday night. Virgin, when you go to your bed at night, you are not sure about tomorrow morning. We are not sure. 
one one wink we are gone oh i'm gonna ask us right now we thank the lord from monday up until friday saturday night without the musician help i'm gonna ask everyone if, if it is even one clap and one shout we can all testify to the lord we can testify to the lord in so many different ways and this is one we're gonna testify to the lord we're going to put our hands together and we're going to shout and say, thank you, Jesus. After two, one, two, put your hands together in your testimony. Thank you. Keep those hands clapping, somebody. Keep your hands clapping. Everybody. Keep your hands clapping, man. Everybody, everybody. Lord, I thank you for last night. I could have died last night. I live to see this morning. Can you lift your voice and shout hallelujah, somebody? Hallelujah. Keep your hands clapping, man. Can you testify to the Lord? Lord, I am grateful. That's what we are saying. Lord, I am grateful. Put your hands together, somebody, one more time. One more time. Musician, can you help me? Can you help us? Give your testimony. Keep your hands together, somebody. Shout, somebody. Give a shout! Somebody give a shout!
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we just raise our hands even though they may be tired? Yes, one last time. We can't give God too much. Bridget, that's how we can't give God too much enough. Because when we are messed up and when we get our life twisted and when we fail God so many times, God still have more mercy and more mercy and more mercy. Can you just raise your hands to him and say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. There's so many times I don't have a dime. I tell nobody but my Lord. My Savior is here or plea. Can't you see about us? Jesus is our heart and all. When they crush us down, Jesus pick us up. Jesus stay by our side. When it's going to get tough, Jesus take our enemies. When they start to get rough, can we testify and say hallelujah? Can we testify and say thank you, Jesus? He feeds me that enough. He keeps me that enough. He saved me that enough. When I'm hungry, when I'm hungry, taking my enemies. Hallelujah. All we are doing today, we are just giving our testimonies. Can you raise your hands? You have a chance to testify in this format. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. I feel like I just want to keep on testifying to the Lord. But the time restricts us. And so we're going to be, be, be wise as we worship him. Brethren, I feel a sense of justice. And I feel a sense of injustice. When God doesn't get what belongs to him. God is not interested in our program. In spite of respect to time. We know our conscience at times that we haven't done justice to God. Oh, can you lift your hands one more time, somebody? Oh, hallelujah. Just close your eyes and say, God. God. There is so many times when I don't have a dime. I tell nobody but my Lord. My Savior, you hear my plea. Can't you see about me? We're testifying. Jesus is my all. When they crush me down, Jesus, pick me up. Stay by my side. When they go and get down, take in my enemies. When they start to get rough. Clap your hands one more time. Clap your hands, naughty people. Clap your hands, somebody. He take your enemies when they start to get rough. He feed me that's enough. He clothed me that's enough. He saved me that's enough. When I'm hungry. As I close this part of the testimony service. As I close this part of our testimony service. In a different format. You know how many persons give up in COVID? You know how many persons sell out their salvation? You know how many persons just give in because when the crisis reach and nothing on the table? But if it had not been 
for the Lord who was on my side. Worship somebody, give some worship, give some worship, give some more worship, give some more worship, give some more worship, give some more worship of gratitude, worship of gratitude, worship of gratitude. It's not the good that I have done, but he looked beyond our faults and he saw our needs. It's not the good that I have done, but he looked beyond our faults. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everyone. As we are coming to, we're going to be having a word of exhortation. A word of exhortation. We're going to be coming from one of our deacons. And then we're going to be changing the phase of the service. And so I'm so glad. Thank you, Brother Glenny, for giving me the opportunity to do this part of the testimony for you. I'm so glad to do this part of the testimony service. I'm, I, I feel I have done justice. Praise the Lord, somebody. Because we all get a chance to testify. Can I just give a wave offering for the last time and say, God, God, I don't have much to offer. God, I can't preach. I don't do, I don't do big things, so to speak. But the little praise I send to you. It's a praise of gratitude. I'm just saying thank you, Lord. For all that he has done for me. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God. And so I'm going to be asking to remain standing as we have with us. Um, Deacon Dan Brez is here. We're going to ask him to come. And he's going to be sharing with us. A word of exhortation. A matter of fact, he has a testimony. Yes? Last and found. That this is the right person to testify to this. Deacon, I'm going to put you in the spot to use your time wisely. I want to hear the testimony because as I was saying last week, when bad things happen, everybody have it. But when God works, they just barely hear that God Preaching, come on, man. You can't treat God like that. When bad things happen to people, everybody with it. Over the here wave. Everybody with it. And when God do good things. No, God always do good things. When God work in our life, we don't spend time and talk about it. Can you raise your hand, somebody, with me and say, God. God, I want to be grateful to you. Can, can you please just in a nutshell tell us what happened by the recovery of that truck praise the Lord praise the Lord another time praise the Lord it's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time the song that says in his presence there are fullness of joy and that is right and there are pleasures forevermore amen mr lord today i i um just want to leave a few words as to what happened i i'd, I'd really like to talk about those things that's me I, I prefer to shy away but you know i you can be seated i must give the lord thanks amen amen and as i said before i, I don't normally love to talk about certain things you know but um, it's public, so I have to testify. Amen? And, you know, I just want to take the time out to thank all the persons who have prayed and persons who have sent voice notes, I mean, um, positive voice notes. I, I want to thank the brethren. Amen? For those who took the time out to pray. They learned of the situation. 
and they took the time out to pray and believe God. And you know, I, I look at it in another form in that we are so privileged to be a part of a family that knows God, that know how to pray. Amen? And you know, it, 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 it just reminds me that if we can only utilize what we have some more. Amen? Amen? It would be a blessing. Amen? Bless the Lord. Well, you have known that the truck was lost and it, it, um, it is found. Um, I woke up one morning um, and I was going out taking my daughter to work and when I was uh, reversing the car out of the driveway, the truck normally parked on the outside. And while I was reversing, I realized something strange, like there was more space than normal. And I looked down the road to see if I see the truck, and I looked, it wasn't there. So I went inside, and I said, come here, the truck gone, them teeth the truck. Amen? And, you know, at that time, you know, I, I, I was even smiling. Amen? And, you know, I... I just leave out and take my daughter to work. I didn't even stop to, to, um, to cry about it. And, um, well, we had a truck on the truck, but it wasn't really um, stashed away securely. Um, it was just to monitor the movement of the vehicle for the workers. So I asked my wife to track the vehicle. When she tried, she said nothing. And of course, they took it out and they dismantled it. Amen. So at this point, that, that little hope that was there was gone because I was hoping that we could use the trucker and find where the truck was. But that wasn't there. And, you know, while I was on my way back to home, you know, I, I, I remember I got a dream in the night. But I, I, I just couldn't remember. And I said, Lord, remind me of the dream. Remind me of what the dream was. And, um... I, I dreamt that I was somewhere with a customer or someone, and I was um, at a person's house. I was eating or I was working, but they told me to hurry up because it's like it's a Sabbath. And I, I remember while I was there leaving, there, there was a road, and they were doing a road work, and um, they paint part of the road in a different color from the, the main road, and it was a Y road. And um, I, I began to say, Lord, tell me what is in the dream. And, and, and I, after I got the answer, it's at a Y road at a church, and the, the Y road have a different color from the main road. Amen? And I went home. I didn't say anything to my wife. And I started Google and I started to search. And I was there. And um, shortly after, Pastor called. No, that was the day. So I had that in, in my mind. No, um, I, at this point, you know, we went to the police station and we reported it and all of that. And, um, in spite of all what was happening, I was very confident in the God whom I serve, you know, and my, my reaction was, Lord, if, if it's your purpose or your will for it to go, then I can't say anything. I can't do anything about it. And I said, Lord, if it's not your will for it to go, then it must come back, you know, and that was just my prayer. Amen. And, you know, um, we, I made all the contact with the, 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 my police friends, those who have known, and they put it up on their status, and I tried to do what I could. Amen? And um, the following day, um, a pastor called, well, I was trying to call him, but he didn't get to call me back, but he called the following day, and you know, he was asking, and I said to him, um, so he was asking, and I said, well, you know, if it's God's will for it to go, then you have to go. But if it's not his will, then <laughs> it will come back. Amen? And, you know, shortly after my wife got a call and you know the rest. Amen? So, you know, just to, to condense it, I went to where it was. And while I parked there, it was um, my, nephew, my nephew and I, we went to the location. And... 
while um, I was there waiting on the police to come because I didn't want to go to the truck to touch it or anything. And then while I was in the car, I said to my nephew, um, there's a wire road down there, so right? And that there's a church. And he didn't know what I was saying, but I sat in the car and then I went down there and I looked. The church was there, the wire road was there. The wire road is, at a diff is a, in a different color, you know? And I say, you know, God was saying something to me. Amen? And, you know, in all that was happening, he's letting me know that he's on the job. Amen? He's on the job. Amen? And just to cut it short, you know, while the policemen came and, you know, they, they were asking me and I was telling them the dream. And one of the officers looked to me and said, man, a man with your power, this could never happen to you. You know, and I, you know, and I, I look at him and an officer was saying that to me. A man with your power, this could never happen to you. This truck couldn't go away. You know, and you know, up to yesterday, someone who um, worked next door, um, he was asking me, he said he heard about it, but the day he was, he had to leave. And him say, the home here, when I laugh and I talk, so like nothing happened. You know, I home here, come here so happy. I couldn't believe when him tell me, say the truck gone, you know. And, and, you know, um, I remember the morning when we came from the station and all the workmen were there and you know, everybody was sitting and while they were coming in, you know, they were looking at us and saying, oh, no, I laugh, like, when oh, no, I'm glad so the truck gone, you know? You know, but, you know, you know, when you know God, you know, you don't let these things bother you because you know who you place your trust in, amen? And, you know, I have proven him one more time in my life, Amen? And I know that we serve a God who is alive and he is well. Amen. And if we only place our trust and our confidence in him, he's able to see us through. Amen. He's able to see us through. And I want to extend thanks again for all those who prayed and believed the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can you just lift your hands as you worship the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Today I would just like to leave a word of exaltation as time is, is going. And I just invite you to stand with me as I I'd like you to turn with me to Job chapter 3. Reading from verse 1 to verse 3. Verse 1 says, Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Sorry, that's chapter 2. I'm sorry. Chapter 3, verse 1. And after this open Job his mouth, and cursed his day. And Job spoke and said, Let the day perish wherein I was born, and the night in which it was said, There was a man child. I'm going to ask Pastor just to pray and ask God's leading and direction and his word today. Father, our high priest, we approach your throne one more time. The God of all gods, the one who can supply all needs. Your servant stand before your people. He's asking for your direction. Lord, touch his mind, touch his lips. Speak through him. We need a word from you, Lord. As he avail himself, let your will be done as he speak, and the needs that are here, they will supply. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Praise the Lord, everyone. 
I want you all to praise the Lord and exalt with me today. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. I I uh, stopped to think of the life of Job. And um, of course, most of us are familiar with the life of Job. Amen? And of course, you know, um, most of us would not want to be uh, associated with the, the struggles that Job faced in his life. Amen? As a matter of fact, I don't think none of us would want to be associated with what Job have gone through in his life. Amen? And the life of Job in his testing, it was a one of great sorrow and pain. Amen? And of course, it was one that we could even see as Job pain while he was going through the stress in his life or the process in his life. The Bible says, and he cursed the day, and Job spoke and said, let the day perish wherein I was born. Can you praise the Lord? Can you praise the Lord that we are? I'd also like to look at a, a, a familiar song that we know. The song that says, you have longed for sweet peace and for favor to increase. You have earnestly, fervently, you really prayed. Can you praise the Lord? Amen? And of course, if I should ask the question across this room today, who would love for the favor of God to increase in your life. I know most of us, if not all of us, would say yes. Amen? All of us love to be favored of God. And of course, as we live and as we go through life, and as we come across the needs that face us in life, we of course would want for God's favor to be increased. Can you praise the Lord? And of course, when I look at the life of Job, Job also was favored of the Lord. Can you praise the Lord? When you look at the earlier chapter of the book that I have read in chapter 1, Job, of course, was favored of the Lord. Amen? In chapter 1, it says, There was a man in Uzed whose name was Job. A man was perfect and upright, one that feared God and is true evil. Can you praise the Lord? But one thing I notice about this man, Job. Job, of course, we could see in our terms that he was hungry for God and he was hungry for more of God. Can you praise the Lord? He was a man that is true evil. And we, the Bible make us to understand that Job, of course, uh, we learned of his children that he have, and the Bible says that Job would, would offer sacrifice for his children just in case they sing. Can you praise the Lord? So Job was a man who was always striving for perfection. Job was a man who was always reaching for more. Can you praise the Lord? But we understand, of course, uh, as I paraphrase in the scripture, that the Bible says that when the son of man gather, Satan also gather. Can you praise the Lord? And of course, the Lord says, Have thou consider my servant Job. Amen. 
And the Bible says God called him a perfect man. Can you praise the Lord? And I stopped to look at how the Lord adjusts Job. That Job was a perfect man. So a perfect man don't need more of God. A perfect man don't need more of God. And I stop for us to understand that sometimes we are going along our pathway with God. And sometimes we feel perfect. And I look, even though God called Job perfect, Job in my mind was still yearning for more. Can you praise the Lord? He was still yearning for more. And I believe sometimes we can get so complacent when we feel the move of God. And when we know the Lord is dealing with us, we can feel perfect and feel as if we have reached, can you praise the Lord? But the Lord used Job as a perfect example. That even though this man Job is perfect in my eyes, there is still more for him to know. There is still more for him to experience. Can you praise the Lord? And sometimes some of us feel okay because we are in the right church. And we will go further to say we are in the true church. So we are the perfect ones. And so we make ourselves comfortable because we are in the true church. And we are in the right church. So we are perfect. It blew my mind when I stopped to think of what God says about Job. Perfect mean perfect. Can you praise the Lord? And I want to go further. To say to all of us today in this room. If we feel that we are perfect. There is still room for heights and depth in Christ. Can you praise the Lord? God saw Job as a perfect man. But in the eyes of God. There was still more for Job to know. There was still more for Job to experience. Can you praise the Lord? I go further to say, when you look at the life of Job, Job wasn't only a perfect man, but Job was a wealthy man. In my own words, Job didn't need anything. All Job needed was just a fast and pray like he was doing but there was still something more for job to experience so i want to say to us today let us not become comfortable in zion feeling as if we have reached and we have known it all there is still more for us to know in god And I want to go a little further. If you feel that you have known it all, there is no need in your mind to go to school to learn anymore. Because I have known all I need to know. If you feel that you have owned it all, you don't have the need to go out and work anymore because you have all that you need. I want to say to us, when we become hungry for God, that's when we will experience more of him. Can you praise the Lord? Job was perfect. Job was wealthy but job was still reaching after god job was still offering sacrifice to god just in case just in case 
He was still offering sacrifice, even though, in my own words, he didn't need to offer sacrifice, but he was still yearning for more. Can you lift your hands as we praise the Lord? So I want to say to us in this room, it is not for us to be comfortable in the house of God. It is not for us to be comfortable at where we are. Can you praise the Lord? Can you lift your hands as you worship the Lord with me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So Job, we would learn of the things that Job had gone through when the Lord said uh, to Satan, you can go ahead and you can take all his possession. Amen? And the Bible says that the enemy, of course, touched the things of Job's life. And Job still maintained his integrity with God. And he come back again and he says, you know, touch his skin, touch his life, touch him, and he will curse you. Can you praise the Lord? And now, of course, during this process, we realize that Job was going to another level. Can you praise the Lord? And you know, it is a good thing to pray and ask God to take us to another level. But we also have to be conscious of what we are asking God for. Amen? We have got to be conscious of what we're asking God for. And God have made available to us through his words a lot of examples of person who acts to go higher in God. Can you praise the Lord? And of course, my mind goes back to Paul. Paul was a man who loved God. He had a zeal for the things of God. But Paul found himself with a thorn in his flesh. Can you praise the Lord? Paul wanted to excel or go to another level. But he found himself with a thorn in his flesh. And that thing bothered Paul. He sought the Lord and he, he was wondering what was happening. Can you praise the Lord? But I want to say to us, just like Job. When God is taking you to another level, I want to say to us, it's a strange place. It's a place that you have never been before. So things are not going to be the same. Things are not going to look the same because you're in a strange place. It's another level. Can you praise the Lord with me? Sometimes we pray and we ask God to take us to another level. But at the entrance of that level, we find and realize that things look strange around here. It looks strange. And Job found himself in that position as well. And Job says, let the day perish where I was born. Job long for sweet peace and for favor to increase. But as long and as that process continues, it is going to be a strange place. Job's faith was increasing. Job's favor 
was increasing, but he was taken to another level, and that level was strange to Job. Have you found yourself asking God to take you to another level? And right after you found yourself at a strange place, and you may want to say like Job, curse the day was born. When the pressures of life and the testing and the trials come, you may feel like you want to say, God, I just can't be bothered. But my mind goes back to gold. In order for gold to be, to be real gold, it has got to be purified. It has got to go through a process. It's got to go through the heat. And so sometimes God is processing our lives. And when the heat reaches us, some of us come out of the fire and lose our stake with God. I want to encourage somebody today. You might be in the fire. God is processing you for another level. Stay in the fire. Stay in the fire. Because like Job, there's a hedge that is built around your life. Even in the midst of the fire, he's just taking you through a process. Paul says, God, what is happening to me? But he says, my grace. Paul, I'm taking you to another level. And you're wondering why things seem so strange. But my grace, sufficient. Young people, sometimes young people have a zeal for God. A desire to serve God. But all of a sudden, who didn't look nice start to look nice. Who didn't look handsome start to look handsome to you. Why is that happening? You're at a strange place. You are at a strange place. But God, you make nature. So who all of a sudden may just feel so. You're at a strange place. In the book, I remember a verse while Job was being tested or being processed. In one verse it says, and there came a fire from God and it consumed, I think it was the, the fox or the sheep. There comes that fire from God himself. No, Job was going through a process. But the fire came from God. So how you work out that? How you work out that? A fire came down from God and it consumed. If the fire didn't come from some evil force, the fire came down from God. So back to my thought, God, you make nature. Why am I feeling this way? God, I'm living with my wife or my husband. Why is it that we are going through these struggles? But God, if you give me the man, God, if you give me the woman, so why? God is taking you to another level. But it's a strange, it's a strange, you've never been there before. You've never. You've never. And I, my word was all today. When you find yourself at this strange place, all we need is to take the word of God. Because you know what? The word of God is a compass for that strange place. That strange place, you and I cannot comprehend it. Without the word, which is the compass. You and I cannot comprehend that strange place without falling down on our knees and asking God to take us through the fire. This strange place, your friend don't understand it. Your co-worker don't understand it. It's only the word of God can guide you and lead you through that strange place. 
Hallelujah. Can you lift your hands as you worship the Lord? I wonder how many of us have gone so close for favor to increase. But because of the heat and the fire, we back out and God. And we end up like the children of Israel going around in circle, passing the promised land so many times. We are going around in circle. You have longed for sweet peace and for faith. And one songwriter says, for favor to increase. You have earnestly, fervently prayed. But you cannot have rest and be perfectly blessed until all the altar is laid. Job, you burn all the sacrifice of cows and of pigeons, spotless lamb on the altar. Yes, Job, you have offered sacrifice continually, Job. But Job, I'm going to take you to another level. But you can't reach this level and for your favor to increase until all, until all, until all on the altar is laid. All of Job's possession was consumed in that altar. Job wife, Job house, Job cattle was placed on that altar. They were burning. They were burning on another altar. And Job could not understand it. You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest until all, all on the altar. My will, my wife, my possession. All you could think of for Job. It's on the altar. God was processing Job for another level. And all was laid. But when you look at the Job, Job's life, one key thing, Job was willing for all to lay on the altar. Job wife says, will you still maintain your integrity with God? After all of this, all with nice house, all with nice car, everything gone. You still maintain integrity with God. What kind of foolish man you be? That's a part of Job. Job was willing to lay even that on the heart. Oh God, can you lift your hands? God wants to take us to another level. But we have got to let go. You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest when you lay all on the altar. When you lay all on the altar, a sacrifice. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that I present your body a living a living sacrifice. I believe Paul understand what a living sacrifice because he learned of the life of Job. Job's life was a living sacrifice. He wasn't dead. It's a living 
sacrifice. Hallelujah. See Job stand by and watch all on the altar burning. But he still maintained his integrity with God. He stood there. The very children he loved so much that he would offer sacrifice just in case they sin. He stood there and watched them burn on the altar of sacrifice. We have long for God for favor to increase. We have long for peace and sweet rest. But not until all not until all on the altar is left. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Not until all. And the altar. Pastor, I believe we are living below our privilege. God wants to elevate us to another level. But each time we come close to the fire, we pull away. And so we can't manage the heat. But I am in church. And I'm feeling the presence of God. What fire are you talking about? I would agree with you. As the Bible says, God said Job was a perfect man. He was a sinner. He was a perfect man. So we might be saying to ourselves, what other level can you be telling me about? And what makes us fool ourselves so many times? Is that this is the level God wants to take us at. God wants to elevate you, you know. God wants to take you somewhere else. And when you come, you feel the heat. And you back out. You back out, you know. But God didn't make you less a perfect man. You're still a perfect man. You're still a perfect man, you know. But you want to take it to another level. But sometimes because a perfect man, you know. All right. Job, a perfect man. So, you move towards the other level and the heat take care of your back out. Come back, you know. Still a perfect man, you know. You go back again. And the heat take you. And you move back, you know. You're still a perfect man. But God won't take you somewhere else. But until you go through the process... You're not reached there. So don't feel all right at where you're at. Apostolics, let us not feel okay at the level of where we're at. Sometimes, past, I think we are just satisfied to see people speak in tongues and people baptize in Jesus' name. But we are not hungry enough for the other level. God wants to take us to another level. I say it again. You're still a perfect man. You're still a perfect man, you know. But there's another level for you to go to. When you look at the life of Job, 
You see, all that Job lay on the altar, him get back that and hold it more. So all God wants you to do, you know, just let go of what you have. Let go of it. Nobody will care what nobody think about you. Now let nobody watch you. You know, when you look at the life of Job, when Job friends came around, they never say anything. Because what? It was a personal thing. They never have no, they not have nothing to say. And I feel them level that. They could have just come and keep him company. But they could even advise him. Because Job was somewhere else. Job was somewhere else. God wants to take us to another level. But if we are not hungry enough, I am tired. I'm not saying you are not perfect, just like what God said. God said, Job, perfect man. But I am tired of the one level. I am tired with myself. <sighs> I'm tired with myself. God wants to take us to another level. You have long for sweet peace and for faith or favor. There's one other song where that says to increase. You have earnestly, fervently prayed. You cannot have rest. I'll be perfectly blessed until all in the altar is laid. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can you stand to your feet everywhere? Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet everywhere. We're going to say a final prayer before we move on to the next era of our service. We're going to say a, a final prayer here as Job demonstrates. As Job, perfect example for us to follow. Paul, perfect example. So what are we saying? Job say that, Paul say that, and other men say that. Now, as we stand right now in this room, what are we saying? No, that's where it is, with me and God. I'm going to ask you gracefully to say a prayer before, as an example of this preaching today. You will never have peace, never, and sweet rest. Until all is laid on the altar. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially. Whatever the allies are. We have to lay all on the altar. Then we can have peace and sweet rest. Close your eyes everywhere. Ah! Do you long for peace? Do you long for rest? Do you long for peace? Do you really want some more peace and some more rest in it? Anybody will long for that. Saturate me with your anointing. Jesus. Saturate me in your presence. I got to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, O oh Lord, today. Somebody sing that song one more time.
sing to him one more time. somebody today before we move on is anybody want to be prayed for yes God bless you as you come to be prayed for God bless him we make sure we ask you come believing for prayer we ask you to come for prayer you are gonna believe God for the prayer we're gonna pray right now yes you're gonna close your eyes and worship yes Hallelujah. Just to remind you of what the word said. I have long for sweet peace. That's what we need. And, and for your faith to increase. That's what you need. And, and a Just believe right where you're standing. Is that all? Is all? Believe him as we pray for you. As we sing it very softly, we're going to pray. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh. Jesus. Jesus, we come to you for peace, peace. We need more of your peace. More of your rest. Oh, hallelujah. More of your peace and more of your rest. We will never have it until all is laid. And as they step forward for prayer this afternoon, it will never come unless all is laid on the altar. We give you Hannah 
we give you praise for remind us all until all is laid in, until we heal our body and soul is thine all so we pray for those who are low in faith those who are weak we pray for those who are discouraged we pray for those who are troubled we pray for those who are sick we pray for those who are weary at the point of fainting we pray for those who are confused oh hallelujah and for those who need real peace for those who need real peace and joy i commit them before you right now i pray for those who can't sleep at night sleepless nights today today is a day of rest we crave for your anointing to rest upon every person for those who step forward to prayer and for those who lift their hands wherever they may be for those who lift their hands as a symbol of prayer i pray for every hands that has been lifted i pray for every person that walked to this altar i pray for those who are restless knowing that there is peace in the midst of a storm if we trust you be with us as we go be with us as we go as we heal our body and soul as we heal our body and soul we pray believing today is thine all is thine all yes if you have not received your blessing as yet we need to put your all there are something need to be on the altar we got to put all all it control do you really want peace As we sing together, Hallelujah. As I heal in my body, can we make a fresh commitment? As we sing one more time, as we all make a fresh commitment, everybody together. As we lift our voice together, even though I am perfect. me there is more for me there is much more for me Jesus oh hallelujah we can only be blessed we make a fresh commitment Lord one last time we make a fresh commitment how oh, perfect we may be As we make a commitment to the Lord, a fresh commitment, we can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest when we heal all on the altar. Lord, we thank you for this fresh commitment. 
even though seemingly we are perfect, but we will never have peace in our sweet rest until all. As we search ourselves, as we go from this service today, as we search ourselves, please help us, Lord. Give us this courage to lay everything. Walk with us, be with us in our beds, wherever we may be, to make a fresh commitment by giving it all to you. And now may the saving grace, may the saving grace, your saving grace, your saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the full fellowship of the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Lord, we ask you that it will re rest, remain, and abide with us now and forever as we yield in our bodies and soul. Can you just lift your hands and say amen? Somebody say amen. By the grace of God, I'm going to heal.